Hello, hello friends. Danny here of Danny's Dreams and today I am stopping by because it is release day at Craft and Kimmy Stamps for May 2022. So I thought I would share the products that are being released and the creations that I have made for the new release plus a few sneak peeks of some cards that I will share next week. So let's get started. First up, we have the new ink color, which is Blue Bay. It is a very, very pretty, pretty blue. I really, really like this one. <clears throat> then the first stamp set that was released was Down on the Farm. Um, it's a crafty comeback, which means it has been released in rubber or whatever. And then Kim like resizes them and kind of makes a new set. So it's super, super cute. How's it going? What's Moo? Howdy neighbor. You are moverless and you're kind of a pig deal. Hey there. Got Lucas with the pig and with the horse and then Lexi with the cow. Just a super duper cute set. Next up, I think is one of my favorites from this release. And this is the Our Farm stamp set. Um, I just love this little girl especially. So super cute. I get by with a little help from my friends and from our farm to yours. You can tell I've used it quite a bit. If you were in the Craft and Kimmy Spring Retreat, those two stamp sets were part of that retreat. Next up is Farm Friends. I love this set too. Um, sending hugs and kisses. Hee-haw, what's moo with you? You goat this. Just chicken in on you. I think this little duck here, his look just cracks me up. And, and all of them are just so fun. An adorable, adorable fun set. And then a set that I think we all need. It's Sympathy Sentiments. Has this really pretty flowers. I have used this set a lot, so it is definitely well used already. And then this that you can use kind of as a border or on its own. Thinking of you, praying for you and your family. Sorry for your loss and your loved ones. So you can kind of build your own sentiments there. Gorgeous, gorgeous stamp set. There's also an add-on bundle. I've already used almost all of my add-on bundles, so I don't have it to share with you. But it has the Cartabella Farmhouse Living six by six paper pad, the Cartabella Farmhouse Living Ephemera pack, and a Doodlebug Red Barn Doodle Pop 3D sticker in it. So that's available as well. And then the new stencils. This one is the Crazy Cow Stencil. So much fun, so many possibilities. I know I saw some design team members using it like as mud for like the pigs. Lots of different ways you can use it. Excited about that one. And then the second one is Happy Hexagons. And I always like when Craft and Kimmy puts out stamps or I'm stencils like this because you get these inside pieces along. So you can go on the outside of the hexagon or on the inside of it. So it's super duper cool. So on to the cards that I've created for this release. And like I said, a couple that haven't been shared yet. So you get a little sneak peek. <clears throat> so this one was using that Crafty Comeback. Um, down on the farm. You're kind of a pig deal. Also uses some of the paper from the add-on bundle. And then on the inside, I stamped him and used another strip of that paper. Super fun, super cute. Love that little piggy. Next up, I created a set of little four by four cards. No, three by three cards, sorry. Um, using the our farm stamp set and the sentiment from the down on the farm. I just, I love these little itty bitty cards. This was a project that I did at the spring retreat. Also did a little pizza box to kind of put them in. Super easy, fun to use that crazy cow stencil in different fun colors. And just, they're very simple, but they're oh so cute. So there was those. Next up, I wanted to try to use that Happy Hexagon stencil in a different way. So I stenciled the paper first and then I kind of cut out and made my grass and my hills and my sky. And I have to say, I think with these fun characters, it just is kind of fun and kind of funky. And I really like how it turned out. 
This is from the Our Farm, or no, Farm Friends. And so that was what I came up with, that duck. I just love him. But yeah, it's different, not realistic, but it's just fun. And then I put that little duck on the inside. But just, like I said, I just wanted to try to use that stencil in a little bit of a different way. And so that's what I did. Next up, I used the Sympathy Sentiments. I colored it with Copics and um, Prismacolor pencils. I used that Happy Hexagon stencil and then that Blue Bay ink around it. Um, and then I added some stickles to parts of it. I don't know if you can see the shine and shimmer. Thought it turned out really, really pretty. On the inside, I stamped it with that Blue Bay. Just a fun way to use the stencil and the ink and that new pretty pretty set then tomorrow this will be my card so this is kind of a sneak peek there's that um, barn doodle bop that comes in the add-on bundle that crazy cow stencil in lots of fun colors and then the our farm little girl from our farm to yours has some dimension to it it's just super cute bright and happy stamped her on the inside and then I also wanted to show this, I'm still working on this, but I'll show what I have done. I wanted to show that that flower from the Sympathy Sentiments shouldn't overwhelm you. You don't have to color it. So I took some watercolor paper and I just used some Zig Clean Color brush pens on it. Just make some stripes and then sprayed it and kind of moved it around and then stamped my um, flowers on there and then added thinking of you and some enamel dots. So you don't always have to color it, so it shouldn't intimidate you. And I stamped that on the inside. So I thought that turned out pretty. And then another one that I wanted to share that, um, like I said, I'm making some more samples probably with this because this set's just so fun. I took one of my alcohol ink backgrounds. This was the pearl alcohol inks. They're really shimmery and just so pretty. And I stamped that flower and then sorry for your loss and then just cut it out with a die cut and put it on some black cardstock. And how stunning is that? It's so pretty. It's got a nice shimmer, but it kind of, and it's another way that you can use that set without having to color it. I don't think I, oh, I did the the other one on the inside so there was another way so there are my creations for the crafting kimmy may 2022 release and it is all available now everything is linked in the description box below head on over grab it all up and if you create with it i'd love for you to share with me i always love to see what people do what they create it's so much fun, and until my next video, I hope you have an um, ugh, hope you have an amazing crafty day. Thanks for stopping by.